It's time for Today in History. For this segment, we look back at the past to try and find lessons for now and in the future. Today is September 21st, and it was on this day in 1872 that James Henry Conyers became the first African American admitted to the United States Naval Academy. Born in Charleston, South Carolina, to parents who may or may not have been slaves, Conyers was nominated as a candidate to the Naval Academy by State Congressman Robert B. Elliott, himself an African American reconstruction politician. After passing his final entrance exams, 16-year-old James was appointed a cadet midshipman upon his arrival and was sworn in three days later. Now, life at the academy was hard from the beginning. Brutal actually would be a better word for the treatment he received from his classmates. He was cursed at, spat upon, and physically attacked. At one point, his classmates even tried to drown him. A three-man board would dismiss several of his classmates, including the Academy's boxing champion, following an investigation into a particularly violent attack by them on him. But the damage, both physically and mentally, was done. In October of 1873, he resigned and returned to South Carolina, where he would live a quiet family life while working in the shipyards.